If you want to know how to plan your visit in Fremont Older Preserve near the city of Saratoga, you are in the right place. Hi, my name is Iftach and I'm a hiker, photographer, and I wrote more than 400 blogs about my hikes and visits in many parks in the, in the U.S. In this video, I will share with you a lot of information about Fremont Older Preserve what you should expect when visiting the park, few general inf uh, information and tips, and uh, five of my most favorite and recommended hikes in the park. As I always said, I never regret going out, so go out and enjoy the park. We will first start with the park location. As you can see here, San Francisco, San Jose, the South Bay area, and this is Fremont Older Preserve, this is uh, the park. Here is the city of Cupertino, the city of Saratoga, and this is uh, Highway uh, 280, and this is Highway 85. Most visitors will go out of to, uh, Highway 85 on uh, the Anza into uh, south and turn here on this road, turn here on this junction, cross the old railroad trail uh, tracks and drive this road that is leading to uh, Saratoga uh, Country Club and golf course and here you will turn left, turn left to the parking uh, lot. As you can see here, in this uh, satellite view, the parking lot is very small. So uh, something like no, not more than 30 cars. So uh, in the weekends, holidays, uh, especially during uh, uh, spring, summer and fall, when it's not raining, the parking lot will be full. So um, try to come early in the morning or as I preferred, um, uh, later at the afternoon, and uh, you will have less people and uh, later afternoon uh, also uh, animals are more active. If this small parking lot is full then you need to drive back a quarter of a mile to the junction here and you can find few additional uh, available spots on the side road as you can see here and there are few here. Do not cross the white line and block uh, uh, the road. This is a narrow road, so really park outside of the road. Um, but those are the um, parking spots over here in the junction if this small parking lot is full. There is another parking lot on the way to the park. It's actually not in the park itself, but um, uh, down um, near the railroad track. As you can see here uh, in this satellite view, uh, there are many cars that park uh, uh, here. And there is a trail going here for uh, um, so many people also hike here. Um, this is two additional of two miles one way to go from here to the park boundaries. But um, I, I did it many times and it's a, a fine hike fun hike and I will give a lot more information about it later on. So those uh, those are the two main parking lots of uh, the park. What you should expect when you're visiting Fremont Older? As you can see from the satellite view, the majority of the park area and trails are um, hills and uh, uh, open uh, grassland. In the summer, um, it's uh, yellow and dry. And during winter, it's a nice uh, view of all the grassland uh, that is green. Uh, also, the high ridge line. This is the high ridge line of the park. Um, there are uh, trails uh, that uh, uh, crossing it, and you can have a different combination of hiking. The majority of the main trails in the park, as you can see here in, when we zoom in, um, uh, those are dirt roads, uh, wide dirt roads but there are also single track like this one 
single track so the majority of the park uh, trails are uh, wide uh, dirt roads and a few single track mainly exposed landscape but for instance in this section there are trees and and uh, um, nice cover uh, from the sun on a hot uh, uh, summer day there are few south bay uh, viewing point hunter point is uh, the most uh, popular one and and there is uh, there are a um, few more viewing point on the high ridge here it's a one lookout and there is a, another viewing point um, that uh, as you can see um, the entire uh, landscape of uh, the South Bay. General information of, about the park and a few tips um, that I can share with you. Um, the best time to visit here is year round. I visit here when, in a hot uh, summer uh, days and also in the cold uh, rainy winter days. Every season bring its own uh, beauty to this park. Uh, again, after rain, uh, it can be a little bit muddy, but uh, not so bad. Um, as many other local uh, uh, parks, you must uh, uh, leave uh, the park uh, half an hour after sunset. Um, so please do not stay there uh, at night. Leave the park for the animals. There is a portable restrooms uh, near the small uh, parking lot. There are, um, you can find here, uh, a a portable uh, restroom and there are no uh, drinking water facilities uh, in the park it's a mountain bike uh, friendly park so do expect to find uh, uh, or to, to to see mountain bikes uh, riders uh, on almost all park trails uh, this is also a dog friendly park so many people bring their dog and this is also um, open to uh, um, equestrians, so you will f uh, may encounter horses um, um, visiting the park from the nearby ranch. Um, as many, as a almost any other parks in uh, uh, park in California, drones are not allowed um, in, on any open space uh, preserves, so please bl uh, do not bring your drone. Uh, for specific and up-to-date information about trail condition, closure, and uh, ex specific park uh, rules, I will um, add below in the comment section a link to the park website so you can get up-to-date uh, and accurate uh, information. Um, uh, you can find also those uh, links and link to uh, the park map uh, in, in my blog. Now to my five recommended hiking trails in the park. So we will start from the shortest to the longest one. So the shortest one start at uh, the parking lot um, and you start to climb um, up the hill and going um, north all the way to Hunter's Point viewing point. Here you can enjoy the South Bay uh, view and you are walking, hiking back, almost on the same trail. Here you can take another uh, side trail and go back to the parking lot. Overall, this is 1.67 a mile long with 335 feet of elevation gain. Uh, this is a relatively easy hike, um, doable also by kids. And this is, of course, the most popular uh, hike in the park. The second hike is uh, adaptation or uh, another loop that was added to the first hike. As you can see, starting from the same uh, parking lot, but here instead of uh, turning left with the main dirt road, you uh, should turn right into the single track that is going down the creek. You will cross the creek here in that point and start to climb uh, the ridge. Part of this um, section of the trail is covered with trees so you will have shade uh, in the summer um, climbing up uh, uh, the ridge this section is exposed and here uh, you are going and uh, climbing up to hunter points uh, uh, viewpoint and from here you are going back down 
to the parking lot uh, on the main uh, dirt road uh, in the park. The third hiking option uh, will visit, uh, we will visit the higher section of the park. This is the higher uh, ridge, uh, ridge line. Uh, from the parking lot, starting the same, uh, um, the same uh, trail, but here instead of turning right to uh, Hunter Point, turn left on the dirt road that will climb all the way up uh, to the uh, ridge line uh, trail. Here you will turn left. And after a short hike, you will reach the, um, the highest viewing point of the park. From this viewing point, you will have a nice view to, um, to the east, all the South Bay, and also to the west, where you can see uh, Santa Cruz uh, Mountain. From here, keep hiking along the ridge line, all the way to the end of the dirt road. Here, uh, turn left on a single track, that is uh, traversing back north below the ridge line, reconnecting to the dirt road and going back down to the parking lot. Overall, this is a 4.2 uh, mile long with uh, 800 feet of elevation gain. The fourth hike, it's starting from the parking lot uh, near the uh, road, so outside the park. This is the park boundaries, as you can see, the light green section. So here you are starting uh, at the roadside, and after uh, after half a mile, you will reach a hilltop. Uh, this is a very popular uh, a viewing point uh, to the South Bay. Um, so in this section, you will find uh, many more, uh, many, many hikers. Uh, from here, you will find a, a lot fewer. Um, you will hike all the way to the ridge line, reconnect and enter to the park, uh, dirt road, hike to the highest uh, viewing point, enjoy the view, and then come back down almost out and back and hike those two miles back. This time, uh, almost everything is downhill all the way to the parking lot. Uh, this is a uh, 6.24 uh, uh, mile long with uh, almost 1,000 feet of elevation gain. So a little bit more challenging. The last hike, and this is uh, the longest one, and this is 7.6 mile long, with 1,500 feet of elevation gain, starting from the uh, parking lot, climbing to the high ridge line uh, in the park, and instead of going, uh, turning left, as in the previous hike, um, in hike number three, here you turn right and start to descend along the ridge line all the way to uh, uh, Stevens Creek Park, um, here you will reach the base of the, the dam that uh, blocking the reservoir and you will climb up to the uh, reservoir uh, level, walk along, alongside the lake and here you, with a little bit climbing, but overall going south parallel to the lake and from at uh, this point of the trail, you start to climb back to the main uh, park uh, section and the ridge line. There is a, a hilltop um, that you will cross, a little bit downhill, but then again climbing up to the top of the ridge and to the viewing point and from here back to the parking lot. So those were my five uh, recommended hikes. Of course, there are uh, additional trails that you can explore or combine um, and connect a few hikes. Um, so a lot of hikes and trails uh, to explore in this park. In the next short section of the video, I will share with you a few of my uh, favorite pictures uh, from uh, the park. I visit uh, this park many, many times and I have many good memories and and a few good pictures, so hopefully you will enjoy them.
hopefully you enjoyed the picture pictures and in the next uh, short video uh, section I will share with you um, uh, what you can find uh, in my uh, blog about this uh, uh, park um, my blog is iftachshachadar.com and you can find uh, as I said more than 400 uh, uh, additional blogs on uh, places I visit uh, mainly in the southwest um, uh, states uh, in my blog you can find the link uh, to the parking spot, um, of course, many pictures. Here it's a list of nearby parks, so you can have a link to uh, the other park uh, blogs that are uh, nearby in the South Bay. Um, the hiking, uh, parking information, hiking information. Here it's important to mention. This is a link to an to those old trail uh, maps, so you can uh, um, get and download uh, uh, the hike. Uh, to your phone so you can hike with uh, with uh, those maps and I also had a few links like this is the park website and this is uh, uh, the park um, uh, hiking mic map if you find the information uh, in my video uh, beneficial I will appreciate your like uh, any comments, corrections, or additional information you think others can benefit of, uh, from, uh, please write a comment um, uh, in the comment section uh, below. And if you want to see more videos like that, uh, you can uh, subscribe uh, to my channel. Thank you and have a good day.